Irons. Five questions, five minutes. We're joined this week by Red Hot Manny Franco. Manny, how's it going? Good. How are you? I'm doing great. I mean, uh, nobody's doing better than you right now. In the money, 60% winning, 42% to start 2023. Uh, you've been a top 10 jockey in the country by earnings since 2016. You've been hot. You're staying hot. Let's start off with question number one. I know you're a big baseball fan, and I've seen you play basketball at the Jockeys versus Horsemen's game where you were clearly the MVP. Um, can you talk to me a little bit about how you became a jockey and, and that process of coming to New York? Well, um, before I start uh, involved in the horse racing, uh, I used to play baseball in my country, Puerto Rico. So, But when I get to the... About when I was 15 years old, I, I, I still little little guy, and every everybody was saying that I I, I should do um, jockey, you know, and I and I like it because uh, every time I I went to with my dad to the to the track in Puerto Rico to see the races, and I I, I like the sport too, and that's. I start, you know, I start fall, fell in love with the with the sport. And became a jockey. Here I am. Was there any pushback from your your parents at all? I mean, jockey's not exactly uh, baseball's a lot safer than becoming a jockey. Was there any pushback from mom and dad? Yeah, from my dad, for, from my mom. Sorry, from my mom. She she, she wasn't agree with with my decision in the beginning. But like I say, um, I decided to become a, a jockey and. I, I, I went to the school in Puerto Rico and I was there uh, two years before I graduated and after that she she um, she supported me after that because that was my decision. Oh, I'd love to hear it. So question number two, you seem to always be prepared for a race, not just physically and I, and I know you're, you're a big guy when it comes to working out and just keeping your body in tip-top shape, but also getting your horse in the right spot based on its running style or the pace setup in the race. What do you do to get yourself mentally ready before a mount? Is it replays? Is it past performances? Is your agent involved? Man, uh, I like to watch races uh, everywhere. No, no, my 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 races. I love to watch the races from every track, and that's what I do. I I try to watch the replay uh, the day before and get mentally prepared. Um, read the paper and. Basically, that's what I do. I know you've been with your agent now for a while. How how are you two involved together when it comes to race uh, preparing for the race or race selection? I mean, he helped me a lot because he's uh, he's sharp. You know, he um, he told me. Uh, I know when he pick a horse, uh, he for a reason. You know, and I just like I say, he it's he, been very important in this journey that we that we that. We, in this success that we have right now, because he's, like I say, he's very good agent and he got a lot of connection that that helped me a lot. But, um, he didn't help me a lot, so I just grateful to be part of, of, of you know, be together with him, and hopefully we can uh, keep building a lot of momentum like like we do this week. Yeah, I mean, he's definitely putting you in the right spots this week, that's for sure. Um, you won the Belmont Stakes, you've won a Breeders' Cup race, and you've had a couple great, you've had many graded stakes in your career. Was there one horse that you've either loved riding or your favorite to ride, or you had a really special connection with? What would that horse be? I mean, I, I'm the type of guy that I ride for everybody. Thank God, I think that that helped me a lot because I don't have one barn, you know. I, I've been uh, everybody support me. And I think that that help that help my business because everybody uh, I I have a horse in every barn. And I think that's help a, a jockey, but definitely it's a, always uh, like you say it's a horse that you the um, you know make. I think the horse that made me it was pissed a lot. Like it was my big horse and. I was just uh, grateful to, to to be part of that history. What, what was that feeling when you crossed the finish line there, knowing you won a triple crown race? Was it? Uh, what, 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 your, what was the emotion like there? Man, it was a dream come true because I I I, I went to the school and I want to I 
I want to do something big and and uh, I want to let my my name mark. You know, like I do something for the sport, and I think I did it. But still, it's still a lot of, a lot of things that I want to do in the future. Well, that's perfect because that leads into our next question. You started 2023 off red hot. Um, what is your goal this year as a jockey and why? What, what's the race that you want to win this year in 2023? And uh, I want to win. I want to win other, uh, <laughs> every day, are, uh, you know, race, uh, the most races that I can, but it's always one. I think it's the Kentucky Derby, is the race uh, any jockey want to win. That's the, the dream, the uh, I think the all, all the jockey and finish second uh, the 2020 it was it was good but it was heartbreaking at the mm-hmm. same time but at least I have the experience to be there and finish second but I want to win that race. I, I have to ask though, you know, outside the Kentucky Derby, you are a New York guy. You're a New York all the all year long guy. You know, you're putting on the gloves, the long sleeves, and the face masks in February when we're racing in 10-degree weather. Out of a New York race, what race do you really want to win in New York? In, in New York uh, or, uh, or in Aqueduct? It, just in general, in New York. And I would love, I would love to win in, in Aqueduct the Cigar Mile one day because it's the, I think it's the big race in Aqueduct. I, I have the chance to win the... the the Travers, mm-hmm. it's a, another big race, and the Belmont. So I, that's that's my other goal: win the Cigar Mile. That's great. And uh, last question for you here, Manny. Really appreciate your time today. But I got to know, outside of horse racing, where would we find Manny Franco on a Saturday if it wasn't at the track? Man, I I love I love sport. I would love to go to the to the park, baseball, uh, a baseball game or NBA game. I love to do that in my day off. If, if I had a chance to go, you would find me there on, on on a court or on a ballpark. What's your favorite team when it comes to baseball and basketball? I know those are your top two sports out of horse race, outside of horse racing. I, I love the Mets and also love Golden State Warriors. The Warriors? Oh, it must be a, <laughs> must be a card game here. Well, Manny, we yep. really, really, really appreciate you joining us today. You've been red hot to start 2023. You are currently the number one jock in the United States by earnings. Congratulations and good luck with the rest of the year. Thank you, Andrew. Appreciate you having me. Have a good one, Manny. Thank you. Bye.